Ooh, Capricorn, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be another quick one this week, because as you can see, I'm still moving. This is not my new home, by the way. We've just stopped off somewhere so we can sort out all the paperwork and stuff, and then we will go to our next place. But anyway, uh, let's dive into your reading, Capricorn. Let's see what's going on for you guys for the week ahead, the 5th to the 11th of August, please. All right, Spirit. Let's see, please. Oh, loyal hearts. We've had a lot to do with relationships and the people around you uh, over the last few weeks, if I remember correctly. Let's get another one. Loyal hearts is really about kind of finding those who are loyal to you. A really good collaboration, team, love interest, whatever it may be. And you also have a go the distance. So for some of you, this is like a business thing. There's loyalty here. There's trust here. And there is... Uh, achieving goals and motivation coming through in a collaboration with somebody for some of you this is love then this looks like you guys are achieving a goal together maybe you guys are going into business together who knows um or of course these can be read differently it can mean that there's a stable relationship around you this week and that you're also becoming a lot more ambitious okay this is about knowing your goal and um going beyond that so you're going the distance here a lot of ambition a lot of um, creativity happening a lot of quickness happening as well it's very good for entrepreneurship or any kind of business in your life about achieving goals even if it's fitness goals you know it's about going the distance going above and beyond expectations of yourself pushing your limits in a good way anything else for capricorn this week please spirit door to spirit so some of you might be tapping into your intuition a lot more this week feeling more connected to the universe maybe having a few um spiritual experiences like maybe you're predicting things or seeing things in your dreams or uh, you could even be seeing like glimpses in the corner of your eyes of spirits let's see what else for capricorn you have a woman holding a coin so for some of you you could be finding a really good opportunity to do with your finances to do with your work life this is like the queen of pentacles which you're an earth sign you are about groundedness here capricorn so this could be you or someone around you so take it how it resonates for you it does feel like an opportunity to either increase your wealth to become more stable or um it could be yeah i guess that's just what it is it's a career it's, it's some secure stable offer either you are embodying that so paying more attention to your finances paying um, giving yourself an idea to budget more to save more to invest whatever it is um or again it could be coming from outside of yourself here let's see what else let's see what else for the lovely capricorns please completion and gossip that's very interesting so you guys are definitely putting to rest any gossip that's been going on in your life even if we accidentally are the ones going into it you know kind of engaging in it it does feel like you're distancing yourself from any friendships where there does feel like there is any judgment if there is any gossip around you maybe you are finding out that there is a little bit of gossip so you're ending those dynamics with those people maybe removing yourself from environments where there is a bit of gossip here um we will dive into that a little bit later but just be aware that that could be around you, okay? A little bit of envy or jealousy of you. Uh, you have completion as well, which is about putting something to rest. This is like the Ten of Swords, so it is a harsh ending, one that is difficult, one that is painful. However, that sun is rising in the background, okay? Uh, which represents a new day, a new a new dawn is coming. So um, it's that bittersweet energy of a, a very difficult ending. However, there is new energy coming into your life and a new beginning. Uh, if there is anybody in spirit who you are missing around this time, just know that they are around you. Even if you don't see them, even if you don't always feel them, they are there. And this is just their, their um, confirmation, especially if you've been feeling a lot of grief lately. Let's get you another card. Sorry for the noise. Right, let's see. Capricorn, please, what do what what does Capricorn need to hear, please, from this deck? Forgiveness, that's interesting. Forgiveness and success. I wonder if there is forgiveness coming from you or from someone else in spirit, maybe. Or this could be to do with that gossip. Regardless, we'll see how it comes up in the tarot. But this is an energy for you guys this week. They're calling for you to forgive. 
The affirmation for this is I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Okay, a lot of the time resentment and, you know, holding on to the past can keep us stuck there, right? So if we want change and we want new life and we want to not feel these difficult feelings anymore, we do need to forgive. And again, forgiveness is not about the other person. Forgiveness is about removing that um, that pain that something or someone has caused you in your life. So they're asking you to release. Maybe that's part of this daughter spirit. Maybe you're elevating your vibrations, which means you have to let go of negative vibrations or negative energies around you so we have forgiveness here you also have success coming in capricorn the affirmation for this is i know that there is no greater goal than to love but you're stepping into success this week all right and i see that too with the go the distance and woman holding a coin it does look like there's opportunities around you uh, and goal achieving is also uh, a theme for you guys this week let's get you an animal spirit for capricorn please oh god that's so many mm, i don't really feel like taking all this there's a, a chunk here let's let's do that again please spare just one or two two is is enough for capricorn this week oh god here we go again there's another bunch <laughs> i guess they want you to have a loads right you have trust in the magic this week Okay, again, not everything um, is known to you in the moments, you know, you never really, sometimes when you're going through difficulty and endings, it's very hard to see that there is success coming your way, you know, it's just the cycle of life, trust in the magic is what they're saying, take time out, if you need to rest, focus on your heart chakra, focus on those loyal connections around you, then make sure that you are spending time around your loved ones, spending some time to heal to rest where necessary you've let spirit be your guide okay spirit is your eyes <laughs> spirit is your eyes this week and you also pick spirit use your mind wisely there are some things that we feel are impossible until we do it then we realize oh my god it is it is possible okay so just uh, be aware of your thoughts about what it is you're able to achieve because your energy will follow whatever it is that you're believing and if you believe you can have a goal, trust me, uh, the way will be made for you is what I'm hearing. But if you don't feel like you, you can achieve something, then of course, naturally, you're going to reject um, opportunities that come your way because you'll, you'll reject them. Okay, let's see. For my lovely Capricorns, let's see any other key themes for the week. For Capricorn, you have the High Priestess. Again, your intuition is absolutely heightening at this time. This is about um, having a really strong gut feeling and knowing uh, of things maybe before they happen. Or maybe this is about diving deeper into your subconscious mind. Maybe you're meditating more. I feel like maybe you're connecting to spirit a lot more. Doing anything that may have to do with the occults. Maybe you're pulling your own tarot cards. Maybe you are trying to maybe tap into mediumship skills or clairvoyance or whatever it is tapping into your own abilities uh, that could be happening for you or it just it just is happening this week let's see trust in your gut feeling though it's clear that that's a message for you guys this week anything else as a key theme for capricorn this week the nine of cups so there is wish fulfillment there is success happening for you guys this week this is another confirmation though to make sure that you're focusing on what brings you happiness this is a card about making sure that you are indulging in uh, those positive feelings and feeling proud about what it is that you've achieved and do do things that bring you joy this week indulge in it don't overindulge but in, indulge in it you know like for example, if you have to rest, make sure you, you glamorize it. You make sure that you're not like feeling guilty about um, indulging in something. Some of you might need to hear that this week. Anything else as a theme for Capricorn this week? That death card coming through uh, came also out with the Queen of Wands. And a lot of people are having this message about having more confidence is super important. I think it's because your energy becomes attractive and not just to people around you, but it will be. Okay, You could be feeling very attractive at this time or looking after your appearance a lot more, or your health maybe even as well. And that's being seen by others. Um but it's also attractive to the universe. You know, when you're confident in yourself and when you're radiating this beautiful, strong, optimistic, 
positive energy, you will attract in opportunities as well. So the death card coming through is about an ending. So some of you have definitely closed out uh, a cycle. Uh, again, difficult. It is transformation in some shape or form. Uh, and it's also opening new doors to new beginnings. And it does feel like a new confident part of yourself will be coming out here. Okay, so whatever is ending, whatever you are closing out, putting to rest, maybe an un, you know, an unconfident side of your side, that does that is not a word. Um, you know, maybe a side of yourself again where you didn't feel very strong, or you didn't feel like you could push forward with something. It does feel like you're feeling a lot more creative, a lot more ambitious, which is beautiful, by the way, because it does look like you're the one that's uh, coming across that opportunity for yourself to grow and evolve in your life. All right, let's uh, let's clarify the go the distance card. Okay, interesting. One more. Interesting cards here, to be honest, because you have that four of cups. So this is, uh, I feel like the go the distance is massive advice for you, to be honest, because the cards that come with it seem like maybe you haven't been going the distance. You've not been maybe having a goal in mind and pushing yourself to those kinds of limits. So this is a reminder to do that. The four of cups is feeling a bit jaded or bored with life. So this is where they're saying you need purpose. OK, and some of you may not have not had a little bit of you've not had purpose lately. Um so there is a little bit of advice here. Don't reject the things that are coming away. Be open to what's being handed to you. Not everything is for you and it's okay to decline things if it's not aligned to you. But don't decline it just because you're not feeling happy about something here. Because three of swords can indicate that some of you might be feeling a bit of pain. You have the justice here as well. Maybe there's some difficulty with a contract in your life lately or legal situations that could be making you feel a bit um, upset. Maybe it's like financial uh, goals that you um, feel are out of reach that could be giving you pain or career goals in general. Justice coming through feels like you need to bring balance into the situation. Um, and maybe that's where justice kind of gets served here. So for some of you, if you want change, if you want to achieve your goals, it means that you have to be a bit more open to opportunities that come your way, of course. Or maybe get the ball rolling, you know, coming out from under this tree, going out to see what else is out there, okay? Don't feel disheartened by rejection, okay? Or if things don't work out, there is other ways to get to a goal, okay? Just remember that. Um... Just like let spirit be your guide, let them be your eyes. I think they're going to guide you, but you need to come out from under this tree. Um, okay, what else? Let's look at the gossip. The page of cups. King of swords. Gossip. The knight of cups and the ten of swords which is that ending so it does feel like you are distancing yourself from people who gossip um you have the page of cups and the king of swords this could be an air sign gemini libra aquarius doesn't have to be though maybe this is somebody who's giving you some sort of news about some gossip that they've heard you know maybe through somebody else the knight of cups is um either can be an emotional offer because this is clarifying gossip let's see I think this is you building the courage to leave something behind. As you can see, I always see this Knight of Cups crossing this water. And it does look like what you're having to leave behind as you're moving forward is some sort of gossip. Maybe painful experiences with people who have gossiped about you. Maybe it's about your friendships and st such. Um, it's about moving forward and away from that energy. It does feel like someone's passing the message to you about this gossip though, okay? Or again, if it's you that's engaging in gossip again, it's something that's being left behind you, okay? It does feel like some there is some honesty though coming through. This is someone who wears their heart in their sleeve. It does feel like you're going to get a message about this coming from this king of swords who has a sword upright. So it does feel like someone is telling you something about this gossip. Just remember, if someone's gossiping about you... It is potentially because there is jealousy involved and clearly their life is not interesting enough. I have to speak about you in order to be heard. Right. Um, that's what I have for you, Angel. So there are some good things at hand here. There is some ending of cycles and uh, a push to go the distance and to push yourself to good limits. 
I say that because we don't want to overwork ourselves, but it's really important to also not doubt your ability to achieve certain things in your life. Believe in the impossible. Again, some of you might need to change your mentality or work on it. That's all. Alrighty, my angels, I love you guys. Wish you all the best and I hope to see you guys next time. All right.